Have you ever looked at a fly trying to get out because it's trapped in a building and it's smashing itself against the window harder and harder with a belief, the more effort I put in, the more likely I am to be free. That's a great metaphor for the, how the mind works because most of us think the more effort I put in consciously, the more I will overcome my hurdles. And you know that's actually not true. You could put in half that effort in getting your subconscious mind to change and you would get extraordinary results. Not only that, but those results would layer and layer and you get more and more phenomenal lasting results by trying not to change the conscious, because after all, trying is trying, but definitely changing the subconscious. Let me give you an example. Let's imagine you are trying to earn more money and you try to get a pay rise and you try to get promoted, but you have a subconscious belief that says, I don't deserve more. Other people in my company are smarter than me or I didn't have a university education. I'm really winging it here and I'm not that bright. Those beliefs will absolutely block you from getting a pay rise. Whereas if you change the subconscious mind and form new beliefs, I have a talent, I have something of extraordinary value to offer. I'm really good at my job, I have a gift. I'm the one person in this office who this has my name all over it. If you start to say that to your subconscious mind, it never argues with you or let those beliefs in. And when new beliefs go in, the beliefs start to change your behavior because it even says in the Bible, man is what he believes. And you do not need to be religious to know that is true. If you believe you're always going to get dumped, you just can't find the money, then those beliefs are deeply entrenched, subconscious, fixed beliefs that can block your best efforts to change that behavior consciously. Stop trying to make conscious changes, it's too hard, and go straight into the subconscious where it is actually easy to wire in new beliefs and those new habits of belief will start to fire off new habits of action because here's a fact, you make your beliefs and then your beliefs make you. So how about making phenomenal, extraordinary, powerful subconscious beliefs because I promise you, it will change your life for the better. And you know what else? It's so much easier than trying to change consciously, which is hard work and doesn't ever get great results. If you'd like to learn more, sign up for my free masterclass with Mind Valley, where you are going to learn how to make your mind your best friend, your most supportive ally, and you'll be surprised at how easy it is and how effective it is. I really look forward to seeing you there.